My name is Dirk Hughes, director of the Michigan Masonic Museum and Library. Today we're going to talk about the working tools of symbolic Freemasonry. When a fraternal member refers to the working tools, he is speaking both literally and figuratively. Literally, they are talking about a physical set of ceremonial working tools that are kept by the Lodge as learning aids in their rituals and visual representations of important concepts. Figuratively, they are talking about the symbolic purposes these tools illustrate in the continuing construction, maintenance, and when needed, repair of our own character. As we've discussed in previous episodes, the Masonic symbolism draws heavily from the architectural and building skills of the operative stonemasons of medieval Europe. And we use these skills and the tools required to practice them as metaphors in the Masonic teachings aimed at making us better people and living better lives. In our Masonic rituals, there are five working tools that should be kept within a Mason's heart to successfully assemble his personal cathedral of character. They are the 24-inch gauge, the gavel, the plum, the square, the level, and the trowel. During the different Masonic degrees, new members are introduced progressively to each of these tools and told how they were used in their original purpose in a historical context and how this purpose translates to them symbolically in a modern and challenging world. As an entered apprentice, the brother sees how the 24-inch gauge is emblematic of the importance of measuring one's time and setting priorities and the idea of the gavel as a way of mitigating his imperfections. As a fellow craft, he sees how the plumb, a tool used by operative masons to test vertical lines, is a reminder of living righteously. How the square reminds us to square our actions within the boundaries of virtue, and how the level can teach us to treat people with equality and fairness. As a master mason, he is taught the symbolic meaning of the trowel to spread the cement of brotherly love and to apply the bond of friendship, not just between him and his fraternal brothers, but in the gaps of understanding and compassion he may find in all of humanity. When you visit the Michigan Masonic Museum and Library, you will see many different sets of these ceremonial working tools, but know that the important part of understanding them is not just being familiar with their symbolism, but knowing that they are tools to be used consistently throughout an entire life to improve oneself and the world, one conscious and deliberate effort at a time. I'm Dirk Hughes with the Michigan Masonic Museum and Library. Until next time.